what's going on guys and welcome back to the channel so today we are doing like there were two wars uh, i'm doing two wars in this video because war number 10 was a little bit short um so i was like yeah let me just combine two wars one um might as well um so this is war number nine and up against this warlock fight so I'm just using my needle here to take this more like a slow, steady, um, using those scary heavy to try to get them. Uh, uh, so that I'm able to go and, uh, I'm just taking this bike slow. <laughs> so I'm just carrying it heavy to go and build up those prowlers. There we go. Playing extremely safely. Almost there to a third. Three bars of power. We have 38 pallets right now. Almost get literally guaranteed to go and kill. Literally, I'm just playing it safely. Go for three bars of power. SP3. And the fight's done. This is just it. <laughs> fight's done. One, two, three. I think this is my very first time ever bringing my EO to war. It's pretty cool. Um. Next, next we have a Thor Ragnarok fight. So we're here with Ghost, Magneto, and also Boss, Boss for the Synergy. <clears throat> so this fight is relatively easy, just trying to play this extremely carefully. I get flipped over there, because he was being passed the first time. Time. Now he there these might be right there with an auto block and I'm like what? what? So I'm going in for another combo. I go in again and he carries me again. I'm like what? So I'm just trying to be extremely careful. He carries me again and he kills me. I'm like what the devil? Because I know he auto blocks. That's a given. I know he auto blocks. But I'm like what the devil? So I go into the fight looking at his abilities. Gotta look at his abilities, and while I'm looking for his abilities, I see that it's a 30% chance that he's gonna auto block. A 30% chance. He carries me four times, three or four times in a row. That's not a 30% chance. That's not 30. That's freaking 60. Okay. Like I was really upset here. Um. So. I was gonna res up Ghost, and I think I take on this fight with Magneto right now. Um, I think I just take this fight with Magneto right here, because um, he's metal. So I was like, you know what, screw it, fine, let me just take this fight with Magneto. But that didn't make no sense. I died because of the thirty percent intercept auto block. Like that just, and I'm over here upset because I'm. Oh, it didn't make any sense. Like, I understand I was gonna get, like, Autobot probably, like, one, right? For, like, a 30%. But that was four times in a row. Three or four times in a row. That was ridiculous. So, the fight ends here. Um, so, the next fight, I did an Ebony Maw fight, but it did not record. Um, and with that Ebony Maw fight, I died twice using Ghost. Reason being is because yes, um, my attack, my battle group leader said, yeah, when you're, uh, when you have a uh, cruelty, um, it's gonna apply degen. But during that fight, my cruelty timer was already up. I made sure I stalled the timer. Yet he still degenerated me. So I died twice in that fight, and I was 100% sure that Ghost was able to take that fight, um, if I played it right. And why don't you know it? It, it was just bugged, and I was like, what? Um, so I, it just didn't record. Uh, I just left it to the Quake player, the Quake, uh, the, the Quake player who was, who was going to take that fight, um, which literally, at like, I think it was like 11 or 12 o'clock at night, he comes into war and takes out, um, take this guy out. Uh, take this guy out, and I'm gonna be talking to. I'm, I'm gonna be talking to you guys about my lines after these two war videos. Um, but the quick player is done. Literally, this is early in the morning. Um, 
And I was like, okay, let's... I was like, okay, let me just get these things over with so I can start getting ready for college. Uh, for my, uh, for my college class. So... Going into this fight with those, very, pretty simple. Literally just playing this extremely carefully. <sighs> uh, just going with the flow. That's two. Win the game. Fight's done. Next we have Spider Ham, who isn't really too bad with Ghost. Um, he is a really tricky opponent to fight. That I cannot lie about. Um, so I'm gonna play this fight extremely carefully. So pop a, a regen booster. And I'm just playing this fight extremely carefully. Now, I definitely could have done this fight differently. I'm going to tell you guys after... Uh, after what happened. Like, stalls out for the armor break, which is honestly realistic from a spider hand perspective. Go for the SP2. Yes, I know I have taunt. Can't really do anything about that. I'm trying to bait up the SP1. He's refusing to do it. Literally waits for the arm break. I hit a shield. Should have went for a parry and heavy over there. Um. But yeah, that happens. And I get trapped in a corner, and I couldn't do anything. Now, I could have literally just done a medium, and it would have been fine, like kept on mediuming, um, and the fight would have been fine. And I also could have popped an Imbol boost as well, that would have actually helped me out a lot. Um, so right now I'm just looking to go see what I'm able to pop here to make this fight a lot easier and less on the units. Um, 150% re uh, power booster, and honestly, the war season is coming to an end, so I was like, you know what? Three or four more wars left. I gotta bring out all the stops. I gotta do what I gotta do. So, that was my fourth time dying, sadly. So I'm just playing this extremely carefully. He goes for it, so I was very, very happy about that. So I'm, right now I'm just playing this extremely safely. Just playing this extremely safe. Go for the SP3. He's almost dead now. I'm just playing this. I'm just playing this very, very carefully. I don't want to die here. And the fight's done. Very simple, very straightforward. Um, well, not simple. It was pretty tricky. Um, so I ended right there. Grind some arena. Also spend some battle chips as well. Going to this fight, I saw the power start one booster. Not the power start one booster, but the uh, attack booster active still. Hazard shift. I was like, okay, I got attack and also that booster active. I'm pretty confident I don't need to use heals, but I think I put on uh, an attack or something like that. Oh, an advanced part water power booster. Just to make this fight a heck of a lot easier for me. So, hit me twice. 
just trying to build up all those like, theories when it comes to the incinerate. And very easy fight. Very easy with Ghost. Um, move off. I don't take this war boss. I was not assigned this. So that fight is done. Up. Oh, I don't think I took a picture of the the final thing, but we did end up losing this war. Um, sadly, um, because our battle group did not not our battle group, but the other two. I think it was battle group one or battle group three. They did not 100% their maps, and our Lion Fleeter was pissed. Like, he was like, get on your game, people, because this is the final three steps of the war. Um, you, If you're losing your motivation, leave the Alliance. Like, he was very upset, and he said great job to Battle Group 2. Um, again, he was very upset because we didn't, because our Alliance, uh, Battle Group 1 and Battle Group 2, did not 100%, not Battle Group 2, Battle Group 1 and Battle Group 3 did not 100% their map, which is, which could have honestly shifted everything in the war, because we were winning the war, we were literally winning war, like, our deaths, our death count was less than theirs, and our, and our fight time was pretty high, um, I think, I'm not too sure, um, but definitely our death was less, but, it was because of the 100%ing of, because, because they 100 their maps and we didn't. So he was very, very upset because we could have honestly won this war. Um, so now we're on war number 10. I moved up because, uh, there were no fights on our path to. Um, and in this war, I do something very stupid. Like, very dumb. So... I have Falcon here to go take on Thing. Um, but then I realized, I was like, oh, snap. I could easily just table here. Table is really stupidly good against Thing with, with Apocalypse. So, I use table in this match. And my next fight is Warlock. And I'm like, oh, crap. <laughs> I did not bring a Cosmic Champion with me. And I'm kind of worried on how it turns out because, as you can see, the plan was to go and use Falcon for this fight. But right now, as you can see, Cable is tearing this fight off. He is molly whopping this fight. Like I didn't, even, I did not even need Falcon for this fight. This fight was. Very, very easy with people. And I'm over here like, oh crap. <laughs> so this fight goes down very, very simple, straightforward. Now, this is where I realize I see I see Warlock. I'm checking line. And also I'm checking a note. I'm like, oh crap. Can Falcon shut this down? Like shut down bigger? And the only way how I can make out of this death list is if he plays aggressively. That's it. That's all I need the AI to do. But you know, this is Marvel Constant Champion. They don't play aggressively when there's a node that has power gain or regen. So, I start out with a lock on, doing very good amounts of damage. He's at 87 right now, 83. Go straight for an intercept. Go for another intercept. So right now, everything's looking good. And he's not playing into me. So now he does. I'm locking on, I lock on, and bigger pops up. So I'm like, okay, you know, that's, that's pretty fine. I can just knock it down and... You know, just stall it out, you know? So I'm doing some more damage. Fight's going really well so far. Really, really well. 66%. Um, I'm going for parries, but it's not registering in. So I'm like, come on, we got this. We're able to do this Falcon. It's possible. 
Um, if we just keep those crits up, they'll be good to go. So we're pushing him to S2. And I'm just trying to combo him, lower his health down. I'm trying to push, I'm literally trying to beat out the special attack, and he does it when bigger I and I'm over here like, bro, why, why are you not being aggressive? Like, this, this is ridiculous. So this, this AI was the opposite of what I wanted. Literally, I wanted the AI to throw out his special attacks before Bigger got activated. So, this fight was basically all dependent on the AI and all dependent on my lock on activating. Um, and utilizing the bigger node. But, throughout the majority of this fight, it wasn't going, like, it wasn't deactivating the node. So it finally deactivates the node after, the, I believe, tries of deactivating it. He's at 51. He's incinerating. Throws out the special, which is good. This is what I wanted. During those three parries, I could have done something. But he heals up again. Ha <laughs> And I'm going for parries, and it's not registering. I don't know why it's not registering. But I'm like, okay, I can still win this fight. It's coming close. If, even if I could get a timeout, it'll be good. And he's stalling for bigger again. How am I- what am I supposed to do? Literally, what am I supposed to do here? Like, the AI is literally- and I go for a parry, and it does register. there. So I was so upset. Like, I was like, you don't always- the AI always waits for nodes like this. It's so stupid. It is so stupid. So I go and heal up again. Um... I heal up in a Res Falcon. Uh, I'm like, okay, I got this. We've got this. So I activate an attack booster, and also I'm in a regen booster. Just playing this very very safely. I go for a parry, I go for a re-parry, and it doesn't work. Literally, I cannot play like this in war. Like this is so annoying. So 16%. I'm literally waiting for him to do something. Literally waiting. And he stalls for bigger again. Because at the end of a special attack, bigger activate. Like, this, this AI was so opposite of what I wanted. It was very annoying. He's, he's at 12%, and he's not throwing it special. He's not throwing it. I baited it so hard, and he's not throwing it. So I was like, I'm not risen up Falcon. Screw this fight. I'm going Apocalypse. And I know, and Apocalypse isn't really good for this fight, but I was like, screw it. I feel more comfortable rocking Apocalypse than pressing up this man again. So I go Apocalypse, and I go Apocalypse right now. Go for an easy parry, just trying not to like screw up because even though I'm running Apocalypse and he has full HP, one slip up could screw up everything this war. Um, so I just took my time in this fight at the 10% mark and fight was done. I'm so happy that's done. I hate that fight. It was. The fight itself wasn't bad with Falcon, it was just the AI was being too passive, and that was very annoying. Um, so we got Immortal Hulk, um, I go Apocalypse here, like, how I should do it. <laughs> Playing this fight very, very safely, we still have that Retin booster. So, just bidding up those SP1s. Apocalypse is dead. I, ha I haven't been running Apocalypse as much as I wanted to in, in war, which is bad, really, because I wanted to run in war a lot. 
but the paths that my champions pretty much use, eh, that I basically use, isn't really, you know, up to par. And also, not a lot of people in this, in my lines, I don't think they really have a ghost. So it's like, uh, if I'm mainly running ghost, and I don't really, the ghost is just sitting there in dust. Like, I don't need ghost for anything. Um, all my content, for every piece of content, I use Warlock and Black Little Dirt. That's, that's just the truth of the matter, that's just the fact that I don't use those at all because of how the AI plays passively enough. And there's a whole ghost video on that where I, just, where I talk about ghosts and why I don't play around them. Um, but in War, the AIs play, it's very rare that the AIs play defensively, which is why I play a ghost a lot more in war as you guys have seen I play I play ghost quite a lot this war. <laughs> so he's in the brutality state. Um he's in his regen now. I carried that perfectly. Got the carry going for a heavy so the concussion so the debuff to stay on. I made the word about the concussion. Um so now what I'm just really trying to do is just trying to eliminate him before his immortality comes back up again. And I think this FBC pretty much ends it off. Alright. So the SP2 ends it. Now we're going to this Captain Marvel movie fight. So before I go into this fight, I was like, I can't take that. But then I realized I accidentally hit somebody's profile, but then I realized, oh wait, I have cable. And what's this note again? Um, uh, I think I checked the note again. And it is strike counter, but this it's not with the fury. It's with the combat power rate being decreased. So I was like, cable doesn't need power. All I just need to do is parry and heavy. So that's what I do in this fight. I go in, parry and heavy. That's literally it. That's literally it what I do in this Parry and heavy. Like, I don't use a single special attack. I just parry and I heavy. That's basically it. <laughs> Cable is so stupid. I love playing this game. Like, he is so stupid. It's a poison. I could have heavy right there. Um. I'm gonna rank through my cable soon, but I have a lot more champions that I would rather rank through right now than cable. Um, uh, but as you can see, I still have to max out on that too. But as you can see, even at rank two, level one, he just destroyed. Literally, he just destroyed. Um. Fight was done. Uh, I had a mini boss to go take, but someone else took it, which is fine, because it was at the. I was sleeping during that time, but we did end up losing this war. Um, sadly, uh, so that's two wars that we lost. One because two battle groups did not finish 100%ing their battle groups. Um, or one of them, I'm pretty sure. Um, and then. We have this one because I think with one of our alliance members, there was actually a bug in the system where, and I'm not even kidding, where one of the fights, he, uh, one of the opponents died, but it did not register. And I'm being completely serious. He had the proof. He showed pictures. Um, I'm not johnning over here or anything like that. You know, I keep 100% 100 straight with you guys. Um, so that happened which was pretty weird but right now we're still in gold one um and i'm very happy that we're staying in gold one um final war video for season 29 drops in two days um and then after the war video we get our lines of rewards and i'll be uploading a video about that um and also in 16 days in 16 days or I think 15, now 14, um, will, uh, the 7.4 beta will be dropping soon, so I will be doing a live stream of that, um, so, 
let everybody know I'll be sharing it and doing a live stream with that. Um, if you guys would like to see what are the bosses we'll be facing, like what are, what are the champions we'll be facing, because it's going to be fun. We're going to be able to doing a lot of champion testing, a lot of researching and everything in this in this war. So I said in this war in seven point four. So I cannot wait for that. Thank you guys for watching. Take care and have an absolutely amazing day.